That's been one of the best things about the course, actually, at Birkbeck. I think the, the breadth of content and the depth of criticism. I've had the chance to read things I've never encountered or heard of before. You might be reading or watching a major large-scale national theatre production one day or a fringe experimental piece that was put on for five people in a pub the next and deconstructing what it might teach us about queer theory or feminist theory or something that it has to say that, that is important for us to, to consider. I think the evening teaching was a, a great opportunity for me to do other things alongside the masters and actually, um, you know, it was great with me moving to London for the first time and kind of exploring the city and what the city has to offer um, in terms of, you know, possibilities for my career as, as well. And I started to think, well, maybe I should, I want to, I want to have another career. I feel I want to move on and sort of upskill and take what I know already and improve it. And I suppose I never felt confident in my academic sort of studies. I hadn't really done it. I'd gone to drama school, but I hadn't done an academic training. And I just sort of, I thought about it for about two years before I went to the open day, which I think I met you at, actually. And I think you said where you can come here having done a, a diploma in, in drama. And the next thing I was doing it, and it's definitely been the most amazing uh, decision. I think what the advice that I would give an international student coming to study at Birkbeck would be that it's being at the centre of London is a great opportunity just to explore everything that the city has to offer and what it means to find yourself in another culture, just really being able to meet and work with people from all over the world and all of the kind of creativity that they can bring to the table. I mean, I really, really enjoyed theorising the contemporary because it was work that I'd never looked at. I'd never thought about um, looking at a play, you know, looking at mediatization or liveness and all these amazing sort of books that you that are you know you read and you think I never I never even thought about that. I'd really like to write for theatre um, for stage and screen um, I think the course is equipping me well for that and I'm particularly interested in representation and working at ways in which we can make great theatre accessible for everyone. Uh, my name is Brian Logan I'm the artistic director at Camden People's Theatre I've worked here for 10 years now. We've been in this building where we're standing now for about 27 or 28 years. Our thing, what we do is we work with uh, early career artists making innovative theatre. So we're talking contemporary theatre practice, we're talking devised, collaborative, experimental, cross-disciplinary, uh, all the left field stuff that do doesn't always find it easy to find a home in the theatre industry. Yeah, the resources and facilities at CBT, I mean, we are like a, a small um, fly-by-the-seat-of-pants organisation that nevertheless has a like, really dedicated uh, and fantastic um, staff and freelance team, you know, and a very big cohort of artists who consider this place to be their home. So yeah, I think the resources of any students who would be working with us, the resources that we'll make available to them are like, you, you know, being a part of that team, which in itself is exciting, you know, having this this um, crazy building as a place to call home for a period of time, you know, having expertise, in-house expertise in theatre marketing, theatre production, te technical management, fundraising. You know, we've got all that in-house and we enjoy sharing it with people and have the skills to do so. Uh, we also, on a more practical level, have a 65-seat black box studio theatre that's just been refurbished, rather like this foyer that I'm standing in right now. We have a basement rehearsal space downstairs. Um, you know, we have like a cafe hot desking area where, where anybody who's working with us on any project is always welcome to come and hang out. And we have a bunch of like really idealistic creative artists who, in whose processes people who are in the CPT's orbit are always welcome to become involved.